Hi, I'm Brad Fry. I'm the chair of the History, Political Science, and Sociology Department uh, here at Geneva. And this is Dr. Eric Miller. He's one of our history professors. And Dr. Miller has recently published a book that I'm holding, uh, Hope in a Scattering Time, which is a life of, uh, which is a biography of a very, very important American intellectual, uh, Christopher Lash. What has been kind of exciting for us at Geneva is that uh, the book has been uh, reviewed and talked about in some of the leading intellectual journals in America. And then Dr. Miller just won uh, an award from Christianity Today for uh, one of the books of the year. So uh, Dr. Miller, I, I guess I, a couple questions I wanted to ask you was, this is called an intellectual biography. What, what's an intellectual biography? That is a very good question. I'd say an, an intellectual biography really tries to depict uh, the intellectual life as a moral drama. That what we think about the world has a lot to do with what is actually going on in the world. And so, uh, in trying to trace the intellectual development and the quandaries, uh, the conflicts, the challenges that Christopher Lash had in trying to figure out what was going on in the world, I think we get great insight and illumination about the world. So it's a study of his, of his thinking life. Well, and, and that would then, uh, you know, make the next question obvious, why Christopher Lash? What was, what was so important about Christopher Lash? Uh, Lash was uh, perhaps uh, one of the, well, he was certainly one of the leading intellectuals of the last half of the 20th century. Um, and in the last third of the 20th century, in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, he died in 1994. He was a voice who tried to bring clarity into what was actually going on uh, in a very difficult period of crisis in our nation's history. He was involved on the left in the 1960s. He came to doubt a lot about the left in the 1970s. Uh, and yet, he still came back to a, a, a very trenchant point of criticism and trying to understand the whole spectrum that didn't go easily into the left or the right. So I think he had a, a pretty unique vantage point that has a lot to offer. And as a, as a Christian historian, uh, somebody who sort of traveled so much in his thinking, what, 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 what sort of perspective do you, uh, do you hold of Lash as you sort of look at him through a Christian lens? Well, as a Christian, I mean, writing as a Christian, um, I'm very interested in his own wrestling with the deep questions that Christians have always thought to be important. What is a human being? What are human communities for? Um, it, where is history going? And uh, I think he tackled those questions squarely and in a way that had a lot of integrity. And it's worth trying to read, it's worth reading him to try to figure out uh, for ourselves, I think, what's happening and how we think about those things.